All right, Bob Bob son. And Bob Bob dad. For Bob's movie reviews here. And today, we haven't done it in a while, but we're doing our Tuesday DVD shopping. Uh, I don't know if you can see. We're at Walmart. We already went inside. Um, you know, Gravity came out today. <clears throat> what was the other one? Thor. Thor. The Dark World. Um, I think that's about it, really. Just those two. Um, they had Gravity for 30 in 3D, uh, 25 on Blu-ray, and Thor was 25 3D. I didn't look at the Blu-ray price, did you? Uh, I did, really. So, not not as cheap as we want to go. We're going to find cheaper. So, I think we're going to go ahead and head over to Target now. Okay, so Target was boring. Pretty much the same prices. Uh, 20 for Thor on Blu-ray. Just one Blu-ray disc, no DVD or anything. 25 for the 3D version. And, uh... What was Gravity? 20, 23 and 28 for Blu-ray or 3D. Right. I really didn't see any good deals. Kind of disappointed with today. Kind of boring so far. I think we're going to go eat. Maybe we have time left. We'll go check out Shopco and then wrap it up at Best Buy. Well, they did have some Blu-rays marked down to $8. You know, but we pretty much have all those movies already. Nothing interesting. Okay. Hey, we just went to Shopco and we hooked up. <laughs> Shopco? We we didn't find anything at Shopco. Yeah, Shopco sucks. Don't go there. They don't even Get have over. 3D, so... Okay. Now, just keep going. This is good. I, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm a fool. And we made a big score. Nope. <laughs> Sorry. It's very hard for us to film in this car. Bullet with Danny Trejo, international film star. fourteen ninety nine Blu-ray, DVD, ultraviolet combo. We're is this so rated R? Well, Danny Trejo's in it. It's rated R. So it's ready to go. This is the sequel to the Steve McQueen <laughs> bullet. Not necessarily. But probably. <laughs> um, wait, uh, we, we weren't sure if this one came out today. I haven't ever seen it before, but I didn't see it. You won't be able to tell by looking at it, but I didn't see it advertised as coming out today, but I really didn't look, you know, like on Amazon or anything to see the kind of the, the lower Danny Trejo titles or anything. And I'm not even seeing when it was made. Had to been 2013. Yeah, I think it's a new one. We haven't seen it before and haven't heard about it, but it, from reading the back, it says he's a cop just like uh, Frank Bullet. His name is Frank Bullet, just like in the Steve McQueen Bullet. So we'll have to see if he's got an awesome Mustang. Maybe it's a remake. I don't know. No, it's a sequel. And we got international film Can star you, Danny. Can you try to lean this way, Sam? Danny Trejo. <laughs> it's very hard to get us both Machete in. Kills. It's on sale now in Blu-ray DVD combo for 20 bucks. We finally pulled the trigger on that. We've been waiting. I thought 20 was still too high, but we got we got too antsy and bought it. I happen to have $10 on my rewards card, so that helped out a lot. And we got the Thor 3D Steel Pack. $22.99. They also had it's the Blu-ray DVD. No, nope, Blu-ray, 3D Blu-ray. None, none, none of the Blu-ray copies, I think, have DVD on Thor. Okay, don't listen to me. I'm but not sure why they decided to go with a non-DVD thing. They have, um, Best Buy has its two versions. They have the Steel Book, which we got, and they have the regular case, and they're both the same price. Yep. So, cool Steel Book Collector's Edition. Uh, same price as regular, but still your best price, $22.99 for 3D. It was probably 20 for regular. Yeah, but um, if you're going this way, get the steel book. But it probably won't last long. Yeah, they ha they had another display with more of them. They probably had ten to fifteen of them out at least. Right, but the, I'm I'm assuming these will go faster than the regular ones. Yeah, but still, if they do, you still can get it for two at twenty two ninety nine yep. for the three D. Yep. So that's our whole shopping video this week. I know we didn't pick up much, but um, I'm gonna try to get back into making videos. Hopefully get weekly videos out there. Hope you guys enjoy them. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And unfortunately, maybe next week we'll have the smaller car that's easier to film us both. Or a cameraman. That would always help. <laughs> but uh, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time. Adios. Hey, guys, we're back. Uh, you know, I kind of was thinking about that video we made yesterday. It's actually Wednesday now. 
and it was just kind of we didn't really buy anything and I, I felt like all this year so far there hasn't been like anything good coming out they're not having any deals on movies and it's kind of boring just to watch us drive from store to store um not buying anything if you think it's boring watching you ought to be in the car driving <laughs> Uh, we decided we're going to go ahead and do a giveaway if you stuck around till uh, this point. You want to show it? Oh, giving away Ghost Rider. We kind of got the sun at a weird, but we got a brand new sealed DVD of Ghost Rider. This is the full screen version, but all you have to do is leave a comment saying you'd like to win and um, be subscribed or subscribe right now. And um, just watch for the shout out video where we'll announce the winner. Um, tomorrow, probably, we're going to have the unboxing of Thor Dark World. We'll be giving away uh, the digital copy with that. And then probably the next day, we'll be reviewing Thor Dark World in 3D, and then we'll have another giveaway. So three giveaways this week. Um, right now, we're going to go to some of our favorite um, second-hand DVD stores and pawn shops, um, stuff like that, and see if we can find anything more interesting for you guys. I was just disappointed and what we picked up yesterday, so hoping to find something cool today. Uh, do you guys ever check out pawn shops? If so, let me know. I'd like to hear about it. Um, how do I get in on the giveaway? You can't. You already own every movie ever made. <sighs> Not every. <laughs> Between the two of us, close. Okay, that's all I have to say. <laughs> so we're going to go shopping now. Uh, we'll check in with you guys when we get to where we're going. All right, so we went to one of our favorite pawn shops, Pawn One. And they always have, like, thousands of movies. And for us, it's hard because combined we have at least 3,000 movies. But I don't know how many how many doubles or anything. But, you know, it's hard for us to find stuff we want at a reasonable price. So here's what we got. First up on the list, The Purge in Blu-ray for $9.99. It is missing the DVD, though. It only has the Blu-ray. Oh, does it? Yeah. But I've been wanting to see it, so $10. I haven't seen it that low. Uh, Evil Dead 2 on Blu-ray. Made, what, $3.99 for it. This is the 25th anniversary edition. So I'll be to do with extra nothing. <laughs> Probably not. And we're getting to the bargain basement now. The Prey. One just, of the most exciting, part. thrilling movies ever conceived. It looks like possibly lions. It's in a safari or something. And this movie was a dollar ninety nine. You can't lose. If you don't like it, you just throw it away. Inspired by true events. Yeah, true events that really never happened. That's how they do it now. They market everything true events, and here we go. Slaughter Camp. This camp slaughter. Whatever. It's, I'm gonna slaughter somebody. This was $1.99, one of Steven's top picks. Who knows what it's about. It says it's got his two favorite words, slaughter and camp. So that why he, that's why he chose it. Who's Steven? Oh, Steven is my other son, <laughs> my other imaginary son. But this one's Bob Bob. <laughs> now, this movie I'm really excited about. It's what to expect when you're expecting. This is... This is by far one of the top ten movies that was ever produced <laughs> in the Trash Can series. And this was not... This this was two ninety nine, which I think is over overpriced by two ninety nine. But okay. Bob Bob's wife wanted it, so we got to cut some slack. All right, get through these. My arm's starting to hurt. Okay. And then Dale Earnhardt Jr., Any Given Day... I'm I'm figuring it's about Dale Earnhardt Jr. So and this was a dollar ninety nine. Can't lose. If you like race footage, hopefully there's some in there. It'll be worth it. All right, we're gonna go to Hastings now. Bye. Bye. Okay, so we got a big score at Hastings. We came home. Thought we'd show it all off to you. Um, they they are doing the buy two get one for a dollar, which is kind of a sucky deal. Should we buy one get one for a dollar? But uh, we picked up a bunch of stuff. We got uh, After Dark Originals Ritual. That was five ninety nine. We got uh, The Big Wedding on Blu-ray. was five ninety nine. And Runner Runner DVD for five ninety nine. And that would be uh, obviously a dollar with the other two. And then we got uh, Absence DVD for two ninety nine. 
Brad Pitt Killing Them Softly Blu ray for $2.99. And Dorm Days 2 DVD for $2.99. My turn? Yep. We got Bell Witch. What is that? Haunting? Bell Witch Haunting for $1.99. Spellbinding. Wait, is that what it says? Yeah. We got butter on the Blu-ray for $1.99. It's it's guaranteed to raise your cholesterol level. Got Universal Soldier Day of Reckoning on Blu-ray for $1.99, which is a good deal for a Blu-ray. Um, oh, but not for butter? No, I'm not into eating tons of butter. Hansel and Gretel Get Baked for $1.99. have no idea what it's about. I think they get put in the oven and they are cooked. Okay. I got Compulsion on DVD for $1.99. I don't know what it's about. And The Ice Harvest for $1.99 on DVD. It's got Billy Bob Thornton in it, so it might be kind of dumb. Unless he plays a really, 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 really drunk person who swears the whole time, then his movies are good that way. Yeah, sometimes. It's not too bad. All right. For $1.99, you can't lose. All right. So... Just to remind you guys, if you do go to Hastings and they have this buy one get one or buy two get one, it's best to always separate your prices and do separate transactions. They should do them all in order of price, but they don't always. So sometimes you'll buy, you know, two ten two nine ninety nines and a five ninety nine. Or what am I thinking? If you buy two five ninety nines at one ninety nine ninety nine. They'll charge you the nine ninety nine and the five ninety nine. No, so that's that's right. If you buy six, okay, you buy three nine ninety nines and three five ninety nines. They'll uh, charge you for two nine ninety nines, give you a five ninety nine free, and charge you for nine ninety nine and another five ninety nine. Uh, so it's it's best every time I go, I always separate prices because even though they should put them in price order, they don't always. And unless you want to argue with them about it. It's best to just separate your transactions. Or if you buy twelve, they give you for two ninety nine. Then a six ninety nine is yeah. four ninety nine. Yeah. Then you get a two ninety nine, <laughs> which comes to a dollar ninety nine. So you're gonna get screwed because you're gonna get the dollar ninety nine, but you're gonna have to pay for the ten ninety nine. We got all this for like thirty dollars. Maybe it was less. I think it was less. Twenty something. So thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time. Don't forget about the giveaway.